Hey everyone, Jeff here, and today I've got an awesome new 4K steelbook of a movie that somehow I missed when it first came to 4K Ultra HD. Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into Men in Black in 4K. Now I know this came out a while ago and I actually had the international uh, Men in Black 4K release sitting on my shelf and somehow I just totally forgot to review it and never got around to it. So Sony just came out with this brand new 4K steelbook and I'm excited to review that for you guys and finally do an official Men in Black 4K review. Now in this video we'll talk about the video quality and the differences between this release and previous Blu-ray releases in 1080p. We'll also talk about the audio, packaging, and special features here and everything covered in this home video release. If you enjoy stuff like this and you want more 4K reviews, more home entertainment news, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're getting really close to our goal of 100,000 subscribers here for 2022. So I appreciate every last one of you and the new subscribers, the old subscribers. You've been great growing this community. So if you haven't yet, hit that button and join the community with us. So Men in Black here on 4K is a pretty impressive 4k disc now it was shot on 35 millimeter so it has a 4k scan 4k digital intermediate which was created from the 35 millimeter negative that's always a good thing you always want to see that it also has dolby vision hdr as well as hdr 10 applied here and i have to say this is one of the most impressive 4k discs even from sony who has done a pretty good job the detail on this 4k is in Sane. The HDR color grading is next level good. It is probably one of my favorite 4K discs. And that's why I was surprised. I literally looked back through my channel like, did I review this? Because I remember loving this disc when I watched it uh, a few years back when I bought the UK version. But this new version in the US with the Steelbook, um, if you don't have Men in Black on 4K, you need to own it. Now I have some comparison shots here of Men in Black 4K UHD versus is the Men in Black 4K Mastered Blu-ray, which is 1080p, but taken from the same 4K scan, but again, minus the Dolby Vision and minus any HDR. I also have a couple screenshots comparing this to the earlier Blu-ray release, if that's what you have. Either way, the Dolby Vision HDR is a huge difference maker between the 4K mastered Blu-ray and this new 4K UHD disc. You can see in a couple of the shots, like even the grass in this scene with Will Smith, it's pretty green across the board on the Blu-ray, but on the 4K disc with Dolby Vision, you can really see where there is, yeah, there's some green, there's some brown, there's some brownish green, there's just so much more depth to that image with HDR and the enhanced 4K resolution takes this whole thing to the next level. It looks amazing. There are multiple instances in these screenshots where you can see, and even more impressive when you actually view this in your home theater, that the depth of the color is far beyond what a standard 1080p Blu-ray can give you. That 4K mastered Blu-ray is great. It has really good detail and the grain structure is pretty good. But taking this thing to 4K, having that nice, smooth grain, consistent grain, Brain. that's what we want it looks like a film print and then HDR depth and color depth that 1080p blu-ray can't give you this disc is an absolutely stunning example of Sony 4k at their best HDR color grading at its best and I think it's a must own for any 4k collectors out there plus the movie is still a ton of fun, even after all these years. The only downside to this 4K transfer is some of the older digital effects, some of the older like CGI and uh, some of the maybe optical effects. I'm not sure what they used. Some of that stuff obviously looks a little wonky. It was rendered at a lower resolution, so when you upgrade the film in the background to 4K, the digital effects in the foreground, they can sometimes look a little soft. But luckily, Men in Black actually used a lot of practical effects, and those look outstanding in 4K. So overall, a great disc. I would give it a solid 5 out of 5. It's one of my favorite 4K transfers that I've ever watched. Now, the great thing about this is not only are we upgrading picture, but we're also upgrading audio and going to a Dolby Atmos track. Previously, the Blu-rays had a Dolby True HD 5.1. Now you get Atmos with a Dolby True HD 7.1 source, and this Atmos track is outstanding. This is near reference quality stuff. It incorporates 
all of your surround channels. It makes really great use of that object-based surround. Objects are flying around the soundscape. Heights are really good. The soundtrack sounds great. Dialogue is super clear. I mean, it's one of my favorite sounding Atmos tracks as well. It just is a massive upgrade over a 5.1. And, and a 5.1, even if you can get up to 7.1, that's great. But if you can do the Atmos with this and you have the equipment for it, you're really going to notice a big difference. It is a super impressive audio track. So not only has Sony done a great job with 4K visuals and an excellent 4K scan with amazing color grading, but they've also packaged this with an absolutely top-notch Dolby Atmos, which makes this disc from an AV perspective a must-own. Solid, five out of five all the way around. It's one you have to have in your collection and one of the best examples of what 4K can do for these older movies, 1997, not super old, but hey, 25 years old now, what this format can do for older movies shot on film. Now the packaging here is actually pretty impressive as well. I love a steelbook with some good artwork. This kind of gives like Star Wars vibes. It is sort of the floating heads, but I like how they incorporate basically all of the characters, both on the front and then on the back, we got some of the fun alien characters, Men in Black on the spine. I like it, it's sort of, it's simple, but it also captures the essence of the movie. Now on the inside, you're gonna get the 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc. Um, not any real artwork on the inside of the steelbook, but they each have a little bit of artwork on the discs themselves. So overall, I really love Men in Black on 4K, and I think it is a must-own disc. If you guys wanna pick up this new steelbook, that's a great option if you're a steelbook collector, or if you just haven't purchased the 4K Trilogy, which is floating around out there. Um, personally, I don't know that I need Men in Black 2 and 3 on 4K. I, you know, I'd probably just leave those as Blu-ray, but the original Men in Black is still such a classic and such a huge piece of growing up for me being, you know, born in the early 90s. Men in Black was everything. It was everywhere. I saw it in the movie theater. It was just a massive, massive cultural moment. And it was Will Smith at his height, Tommy Lee Jones, amazing. Um, so everything about this movie just resonates with me. The Steelbook's really cool, and the 4K disc in that Dolby Atmos audio can't be beat. So if you wanna pick this up, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can buy this Steelbook, but I'll also link to the full 4K trilogy if you'd rather pick up all three of the movies. Um, it doesn't include MIB International, of course, but it would be just those first three movies with Will Smith in the trilogy. So thanks for watching this review. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and like this video so others will see it and we spread the word across YouTube and the internet about physical media. I appreciate everyone who does that and supports the channel by watching, liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. Make sure you follow me on social media as well. Links to Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Those are my three main channels. Those are down in the description as well as all my other partners and ways you can support them and my channel uh, with different links and promo codes. So I appreciate your support. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and healthy out there. And I'll talk to you guys soon.